So push up with rotation, a Spider-Man, a mountain climber, again, a total body, right? You're getting that work, a lot of work done in a short period of time because most small group trainings could be less than an hour. I see a lot of 45 minutes, a lot of 30. Doesn't mean I don't see the hour, but you know, you've got a lot to get through because again, you're going to have some time in transition and coaching a lot of people. So I love these type of exercises. Leg circuits, Wendy, we all know you love them, even though you don't <laughs> do them, you make everybody else do them. So it could be a series of squats to lunges to hops to things like that. Wendy's got, she'll give you the contact information later if you want uh, some examples of different leg circuits. Wendy's got them all. And then single leg windmills. This is a great way to get that single leg stability, hip internal rotation. If you're rotating over that stance leg, thoracic rotation, core stabilization, really going to get the glutes and all the stabilization muscles in the lower extremity fired up. So, um, then single leg shoulder combos one and two. You don't need any weights, just that slow controlled tempo. The weight of your arm is plenty, especially as you pitch forward. Now you're getting core activation. And then we have things like bands. It's very easy to travel with bands. You can do partner rows, rows, depending if you have an anchor point, lateral raise, presses and pulls. Obviously, Wendy's always going to put the gun show in there, the buys and tries. And then you can do things like squat to press. So with between body weight, control and tempo, and then bands, you can really get a highly impactful resistance training program in. Yes. And these, again, slow and control. If you're doing phase one, speed it up add more resistance if you're doing that or doing things in a power level. So it doesn't matter. And, and that's the beauty of the model. You want to make sure that the clients are prepared for that, that they've kind of even gone through the assessment. If you start to see that things are cleaning up, even what you're doing on the prep side, go through the model, even in small groups, and maybe you start to individualize. But the most important concept, I think out of all of this, Marty, we've said it, I'm going to say it again. You have to have progressions and regressions mm -hmm. because not everybody in that small group is going to be on the exact same page. 